Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Mon Chowen here, and I'm super pumped to have you today. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through one of the most powerful tools in Adobe Illustrator, something we use every single day, but honestly, not many people explore it to its full potential. Yup, I'm talking about the pen tool. Sounds basic? Maybe, but this little guy is a total game changer once you know what it can really do. Let's get started. All right, you'll find the pen tool right here on the toolbar. The shortcut is just the letter P. Super easy to remember. If you get used to using shortcuts like this, your workflow will speed up like crazy. Now let's look at what's hiding under the pen tool. First, the basic pen tool. Just hit P. Second, add anchor point tool. Shortcut is the plus sign plus. Third, delete anchor point tool. Shortcut is the minus sign dash. And finally, the anchor point tool. Shortcut is shift plus C. You'll notice a tiny triangle at the corner. Click and hold if you want to expand the panel. But hey, if you can memorize the shortcuts, you can keep things clean and fly through your work. Next up, before we start drawing, let's set up the basics. Check your fill and stroke settings. Let's set the stroke to black and maybe a weight of three points so it's nice and clear. Now let's draw a straight line. Click once to drop your first anchor point, then move your mouse and click again. Boom, you've got a path. Wait a sec. If your shape is filled with color, don't freak out. That's just the fill setting from your last project. The fill adds color inside the path from point A to point B. But today, we just want to see the lines. So click the fill color box and hit the little white box with a red slash to remove it. That's the no fill icon. Cool, let's keep going. When you close a shape, like when your mouse gets back to the starting point, you'll see a little circle near the cursor. That means you're about to close the shape. Click once and you've created your first custom shape. All right, now it's time to practice with simple shapes using just straight lines. Try clicking and dragging from one corner to another and start getting that muscle memory going. The pen tool might feel weird at first, but trust me, once it clicks, it really clicks. This tool gives you full control over curves, shapes, and clean vector paths. It's basically what makes Illustrator so powerful. Keep practicing. All right, let's move on to one of the most important keys you'll use to modify tools in Illustrator, and that's the Shift key. Now, Shift is like your best friend. It works with almost every tool and helps lock the direction of your mouse. Up, down, left, right, or perfectly diagonal at 45 degrees. This makes your lines super straight and smooth without twisting your wrist. Get used to it. It'll make your drawing feel a lot more natural. Let's do a quick demo. I'm gonna hold shift and draw. And there you go, perfectly straight. Moving on. Now let's talk about curved lines. This is where things start getting fun. To draw a curve, just click and drag. That's it. You'll see two little arms, or handles, pop out from the anchor point. These handles control the curve. The longer you drag them, the smoother and rounder the curve becomes. Illustrator automatically adjusts the shape of the curve based on how you move those handles. Take a minute to get familiar with how it feels. By default, anchor points usually sit right at the peak or edge of a shape. Let me show you with this circle. Now grab the Direct Selection tool. Shortcut key is A. Your mouse will turn white, and when you click on any part of the path, you'll see all the anchor points light up. They're placed at the top, bottom, left, and right of the circle. And yup, 
you can adjust any of their handles one by one. Let's do another practice round. Just take it slow. You don't need to rush. Even warming up your hand with some curves before starting a project can help you draw better. Speaking of curves, there's another tool you should know about. The Curvature tool. Shortcut. Shift plus apostrophe. This tool creates smooth curves really quickly. It's not 100% precise, but it's perfect when you want to move fast and fix details later. Just click from one anchor point to another. You'll see a light blue preview curve appear. Maybe it doesn't look quite right yet, but keep going until you finish the shape. Illustrator will automatically adjust the curve at the end. So smooth, so easy. Next, let's look at another powerful modifier key. Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. This key lets you independently adjust just one handle of your anchor point. So if the curve isn't behaving how you want, hold Option Alt, then drag one handle to reshape that side only. But be careful. If you click directly on the anchor point instead, both handles will collapse, basically resetting the curve and creating a sharp corner instead. But don't worry. You can always click and drag new handles back out. Let's try something fun. Drawing a water droplet. Start with a circle, then hit A to switch to the Direct Selection tool. Pull the top anchor point up to stretch it. Now grab your pen tool. Hold Option or Alt. Click the anchor point once. Boom! Instant teardrop shape. Nice and smooth. Want to keep going? Let's draw a cloud. Click, click. Oops, the curve won't flow right, no worries. Hold Option slash Alt. Bend the handle upward and keep drawing. Nice and fluffy. Now for straight lines. Sometimes the curve handles get in your way. To break that curve and create a corner, just click once on the anchor point without pressing any key. One handle will disappear, letting you draw a clean, sharp edge. Try it out and see how it feels. Keep practicing these techniques and your hands will start remembering all of it naturally. You're doing great. Keep going. All right, there's another tool I absolutely love, and it's actually a pretty new addition to Illustrator. The Quick Pen Tool. Shortcut Shift plus Q. You'll find it down here. Once you click it, a special floating toolbar pops up. You've got straight line, smooth continuous curve, new curve from a fresh point, Flip Curve Direction, and Settings. Let's try it out with another cloud, shall we? Starting right here at this corner, Hakuri one click. Whoa, look at that curve. The tool automatically switches to the smooth curve mode for you. Let's flip the direction. Click, 
Boom. Now keep going. And we'll finish it off with a straight line. Let's do one more. This time with this cute dog shape right here. And done. Nice, smooth, clean curves. Looks amazing. Now here's where things really start to click. This next part will help you understand how anchor handles affect the curve and give you total control over your drawing. To make things easier to see, right click and choose Show Grid. There we go. Now you've got guidelines to follow. Let's draw along together. First, straight lines. Click, click, super easy, right? Next, curved line. Click on a point, go up to the peak, hold shift and drag the handle out to reach the next block. Click, click, drag, click again. Feels pretty natural, doesn't it? Now let's try the flip style. Click, drag one block. Drop down a block, drag another block. Simple, and don't worry. You don't have to memorize these patterns. Just practice them a few times and your hand will start to remember on its own. One of my favorites. A bit unusual, but really cool. Click, go down one block, then hold shift and drag diagonally to the center of the next square. Click again. Final one. Drag down first, then to the second block. Easy. As you keep using the pen tool, you'll start discovering your own favorite techniques. Little tricks that just feel right in your hand. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel. I'll be sharing more creative tips, illustrator hacks, and graphic design tricks in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thanks again, and happy designing.